Yo, what's up guys? So I know I haven't posted on YouTube in a while and I've never really had to, the desire to post on YouTube uh, because there's nothing to really post that is interesting to me at the moment. I don't really play Elder Scrolls Online that much anymore. I just played it towards like middle of the summer. Um, then I got into the crew and then I got into... Uh, well, I still like the crew. I still play that game. And now I uh, am on Minecraft for one reason. Um, I don't really like the survival competitive style of this game, you know, with the Sky Wars and the kind of stuff like that that people do on this game. But I am here to show you something. Um, if you cannot tell already by the title of this video, uh, I am building the entire, yes, that's right, you guys, the entire city of Milwaukee um, in Minecraft. And... I'm sure you guys know what Milwaukee is. If you don't, it is a um, pretty big city located in Wisconsin. It's right on Lake Michigan. It's a little bit north of Chicago. Um, and if you want to know more about it, look it up. But today I'm here to show you um, how it's going so far. So Milwaukee is a city that is very nice. It's a very nice city. It's my home city, if you guys didn't know that already. Um, I'm from right around Milwaukee. Uh, my family originated in Milwaukee, they all grew up in Milwaukee, and most of them still live in Milwaukee. So we are very much based out of this city, and there is a lot. Uh, we date back a lot, um, not just myself, but my whole family, a lot with Milwaukee. So I've been there enough times where I know the city uh, very well. I go there all the time, you guys, and I live very close to it, literally like it's a 20 minute drive. So, um, I decided that I was going to build it in Minecraft because I have looked at cities that have been built in Minecraft before or just done in a video game before and Milwaukee has never gotten its time to shine. It's a very, like I said, it's a very nice city. It's a big city and, well, it's fairly big. It's not like, obviously, it's not Chicago's uh, size, but um, it, it's still a fairly large city, uh, a Midwestern city. So... Uh, Around the time that I'm making this video, the population of Milwaukee is about 605,000 people, which is pretty pretty big for a city. Um, obviously, like I said, not to the extent of the big three cities, which is Los Angeles, New York City, and Chicago. It's not that big, but it's, it's still pretty big. So, um, if you guys don't know, this would be 794, which comes into Milwaukee, and it turns off to the left and heads toward the Milwaukee River, which is going to also be built. This is project is obviously going to take a long time because I am building the city actual scale um, because that, that would be cool. Um, the hardest part about this city, you guys, or just this project in general, is definitely Lake Michigan because I'm not building the entire Lake Michigan, obviously, but I am going to um, be building it large enough to where it can border the entire city of Milwaukee because Milwaukee is on Lake Michigan. So um, I just took a shitload of TNT and just blew it up and I'm not done with Lake Michigan you guys. This is not even close to how big it's going to be because Milwaukee um, from where I'm at like this is the US Bank Tower or the first Wisconsin Center or whatever the hell it's called and it's the tallest building in Milwaukee currently, but they're building some new projects within the next couple of years that'll probably be taller than this tower. But um, Milwaukee would go till about, mm, that's the Kilbourne Tower apartment complex, so it would probably go uh, roughly, including, if we're including suburbs, it will go till about, will go till about here. So I am going to have to make Lake Michigan pretty big, um, you know, which I'm going to do, obviously. It's just going to be a pain in the ass. And I'm going to fill the entire fucking thing with water. So, yeah. Um, so in perspective, if you guys are from Wisconsin or from the Milwaukee area, or if you just know uh, a lot about Milwaukee in general... Coming in, like I said, 794, you turn left, the Milwaukee River's over there at the end of 794, and then that would cross over, and then the, the Miller Park would be a little bit more out that way. The Bradley Center would be 
probably right around, which, by the way, is where the Milwaukee Bucks play. I'm sure you guys already know that, uh, especially if you're a sports fan. The Bradley Center would be right around here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's around where it's going to be built. And I know the Bradley Center very well, and it's not that hard to build a basketball court in Milwaukee. So, Or not Milwaukee, <laughs> Minecraft. So I am going to build uh, the Bradley Center. And... Um, <clears throat> I will also build Miller Park. That is going to be a pain in the ass. That is going to be hard to build because of the way it's designed, especially with the roof that it has, um, especially how it opens and closes. But another, <clears throat> another really difficult building to build is going to be the Milwaukee Art Museum because that building is also very complex and uh, complicated. That would be located right around here. Um, but obviously I'm going to need room for it. It's going to, uh, ex it extends right up to Lake Michigan. So I might add some more land and it's got a beautiful view of the lake. It's got like, uh, you look out that window when you walk in and it's like a really complex window and you just can see the entire lake and it's, it's really cool. So that's what I'm going to do for that. Um, like I said, this is Kilbourne Tower, which is the third tallest building in Milwaukee at the moment. Uh, the apartment complex right to the left of it is taller than Kilbourne Tower, but not as tall as the U.S. Bank Tower. So that's the second tallest building in Milwaukee. And like I said, this is a work in progress. Not much of Milwaukee is done yet. Uh, sure, I've added a few key buildings. I did this one right away because that's like the highlight building in Milwaukee, at least for now. And I, it's very easy to build. Uh, it's, it's just a square with windows and it's white. The U.S. Bank logo is, is like virtually almost impossible to make in this game. So I just went with what I had. Looks close enough, I guess. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so this these are all real buildings. I'm not just building random buildings. I'm looking at pictures of the actual city and using my general knowledge to build these buildings. I just, actually, this was the very first building that I built because I parked here when I went to German Fest back in July, I think it was. It was either July or August. Um, and I just used this as a starting point because I, I just remembered back to, the, to that time um, because I parked in this parking lot and I walked under um, Road 794 over to the fairgrounds, which is along the lake, which I will also, also build. And, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to build that and the city is going to be pretty big when it's done. There's not going to be much grass in the city area. I'm going to fill it all in and, um, hopefully if I feel up to it, once Milwaukee is done, if I'm so confident. And by the way, guys, the buildings don't light up yet, but as you know, cities do light up at nighttime. So once I'm done building, uh, the roads light up and the, and the lampposts do. But once I'm done building... The buildings, I will uh, furnish them and, and put lights in them so they all light up at nighttime. The city looks beautiful, but uh, right now they do not light up. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I, I think it would be really, really cool to have Milwaukee in a video game. So that's what I'm finally doing. I'm, uh, I've, I've looked online to see if the city has actually been done before or if it's been... Uh, in any video games I do not think it is um, so that's really cool for me it makes me feel a lot more honored to be the first person to ever build a, a scale of Milwaukee in a video game because there are a lot of people especially around my area that come from the city or visit it frequently and know it very well so it's gonna be really cool um, especially to the people who go here a lot to see this um, you know, just come to life in a video game. So I don't know if that statement makes any sense because video games are not real life, but I am still making it happen. So I am going to make this city as, as cool as I can possibly can, uh, as I can possibly can, <laughs> but I'm going to make this city as cool as I possibly can. And it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. The art museum, I'm sure, will look cool. I'm going to take my time on that. Bradley Center won't be too hard. Um, Miller Park will be hard. Um, Lake Michigan will be very difficult as well. But other than that, I know the city pretty well. And, oh, the river. The river is another thing that's going to be a uh, pain in the ass. Cause it's, going to have to be, it's going to have to be wide, long, and filled with water. So that'll be 
difficult, but I'll do it. So yeah, I will update you guys on videos if I, uh, when I am continuing to build the city and like progress on it, you know, once it all lights up, once I got some more major buildings, surrounding areas, stuff like that. But this is the very first video, um, in this series, which I guess I'll just call Milwaukee and Minecraft. And this is the only thing I really plan on posting on YouTube right now, because I think it would just be cool to, uh, see Milwaukee, like I said, in a video game, full scale, not just Miller Park or anything. And like I said, I have looked online to see if it's in any video games or ever built in Minecraft before, and the Miller, Miller Park and I think the Art Museum and the U.S. Bank Tower and or the Bradley Center had been built before, but never before has the entire city been built. So that is what I am doing. All right, so leave a like if you're happy to or excited to see Milwaukee in Minecraft. And this is Blaze, and I will talk to you guys later.